Hello, Mayor and Council. It's me, Jason. I want to say hello to everyone and that everyone is safe and healthy. I am usually before you at the beginning of April, but due to the course of events that happened, it wasn't possible. I still think it is important to remind people that autism does not go away after April. This year in school, I did a fair amount of things like piano, bagel shop with Mr. Suter, and Jim. Funny enough, I would usually talk about this year. However, after my first half of the year, the second half was much different. This lousy virus made me miss doing things I love doing to do this year, like going to the huddle for autism or taking part of the precious gem or taking part of the precious gem pageant, or one of my most favorites, blowing bubbles for autism. Since mid-March, I have been doing most of my schoolwork at home rather than at school. It was a bit hard at first, but eventually I got the hang of it. I know this is a very difficult time for us, including everyone else throughout the many states in our country. But I learned from my mom that you should listen to nothing of what you hear without conversation and only half of what you see. It is very important to remember that we may have autism inside us all. And that might make it different for everyone. In some ways we can possibly get through this. I have been handling this pandemic quite well. At first I wasn't, but later on I, get, I got used to it, thanks to my great teachers, my aide Rocco, and even Sherno, along with my brother and sister Aaron, and my mom, along with many others who helped through this. I want to remind everyone about autism and how it affects us all, whether during these troubling times or if this wasn't even the case. I am having a difficult time because of my OCD that makes me upset and it makes me wish that this virus is gone and non-existent. What I do to make myself a lot more calmer is draw on my journal, do my schoolwork online, play my video games, of course, and avoid hearing too much stuff from the, too much stuff from the media. I also take walks outside my neighborhood. I water my plants, and my mom usually wears a mask while going to the store so that my mom does not catch the virus and put it in me and or Eric. We also only see Aaron and Pop at a distance so that all are safe. The key thing I learned from many people is social distancing, which is ironic because I have been working on being social for many years, which has proven very difficult. All in all, autism could mean many a things. For me, autism is kindness and careness for many others. Many of us learn in a different way, and many of us handle this in a different way. My hope is that our society, even during these trying times, is able to still have compassion, understanding, and kindness for our families who are affected by autism. One of our traditions is blowing bubbles for autism. Thank you, Mr. Dietrich, for keeping this tradition going by coming over to blow bubbles with us for all those who are affected by autism. With that said, I would like to thank every first responder, our police department, our nurses and doctors, our grocery store workers, and even our mailman. And I would also like to thank all of my teachers who are helping in getting through this odd time that we are all experiencing. Thank you so much, Mayor and Council which includes Mr. Eric Simonson for giving me this opportunity to have my voice heard as I speak for myself, as well as I know oh, can love who live with autism every day, just like me. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak. I hope to speak again next year. Until then, I hope that many people across the country are safe and follow the exact rules needed to be followed so that we can move forward and in a very safe manner. Thank you, Mr. Eric Simonson. And I hope that we would still cherish autism awareness even after April, a lot to infinity and beyond.